executive chairman of Ikosi during local council development area, Wale Anomo, is making qualitative and quantitative education available to the teaming children population of school age within the council area. The council leadership has improved the teaching and learning standard in many primary schools within the council area. The newly constructed block of three classrooms for the purpose of local government central primary school at Bawaikosi is another testament to a normal educational program. Dignitaries and residents of the council area gathered to witness the official commissioning and handing over of the academic building, furnished with chairs, desks, and other learning materials for the pupils. In his speech, Anomo said the intervention is a testament to his unwavering commitment towards building the future leaders. It is a very critical sector that we need to invest so much because when you close the door of a school, you open the door of a prison. And when you open the door of a school, you close the door of a prison. And of course, you all agree with me that education is very paramount. And that is why this government, under my leadership, has taken a giant strike in the education sector of eco local council development area. The guests at the event applauded the council chairman for bridging the gap between private and public primary schools within eco local council development area. If I could say he has a passion for the for education in Nico Sejiri specifically because he has been supporting, he has been doing a lot. Like last two weeks he gave us a brush cutters. That's what we use it to clear this place. Last last session he came to our schools to give the children, all the children without excluding anybody, he gave them books, school packs so to everybody. Education is very, very essential. If you do not why you see most of these bandits it's because they lack education now today as you can see people are jubilating but uh, my own is to call upon all indigenous of the the people that are blessed to support him no nation can rise above its educational system when the education in its nation is stable when it is developing when it is progressing definitely there will be a remarkable development in that nation and that is what you are seeing today. These children are the future leaders of tomorrow. For any reasonable education, education, there must be a conducive learning environment. This is what Honorable Wale Anomo is providing for the future generation. This is the first ladder in the educational system. And therefore, it is important that we give our children you know, a very solid foundation. And part of giving them solid foundation is to give them conducive environment to learn, which is what we are witnessing this afternoon. I thank God Almighty that the chairman promised to do this and he has fulfilled that promise. My message for, us for all of us to take responsibility of this structure, to know that it belongs to us and we should guide it generously, generously and ensure that it's protected so that it's not vandalized in any way. The chairman further charged the managers of the school and community leaders to take ownership of the school and ensure proper maintenance of the facilities for the benefit of the pupils. From our local government, we take education with a priority. And that is one of the reasons that fired my inspiration to make sure that we give credence to education, educating these young pupils. Of course, that is the best legacy we could give to them. More of this kind of intervention will improve learning in public schools. Mm -hmm.